Electoral Act. The National Assembly has amended for the third time the Electoral Act 2022 to include provisions which allow statutory delegates to participate and vote at congresses or conventions of political parties. Those identified as statutory delegates include the President, Vice President, members of the National Assembly, Governors and their deputies, members of the State Houses of Assembly, Chairman of Councils, Councillors and National Working Committee members of political parties, amongst others. The Senate passed the amended Act on Tuesday during plenary, following the expeditious consideration of the provisions by the Committee of the Whole. Similarly, the House of Representatives passed the amended Act on Wednesday to align with the Senate. The bill seeks to amend the provision of Section 84, Subsection 8 of the Electoral Act and was sponsored by the Deputy Senate President, Ove Omoagigi. According to him, the provisions of the section do not provide for the participation of what is generally known as statutory delegates in the conventions, congresses or meetings of political parties. We seek to amend the Electoral Act 2022 to make provision for delegates who have not been elected ad hoc delegates as prescribed in the constitution of a political party and the Electoral Act to participate in the convention, congress or meeting of the party. In supporting the amendment to the Act, a cross-section of lawmakers, Senator Uche Ekunife and Senator Sabi Abdullahi, said without the amendment, most of them will not have the liberty of voting during conventions. I think this is a very straightforward and very simple uh, amendment. Because without this amendment, most of us would not uh, have the liberty of voting during the party's convention. We are trying to do this amendment to ensure that what the political parties are known to do by allowing statutory delegates, in addition to the delegates that will be elected by the various political parties, constitute the electoral college for all the elections. Speaking after the bill to amend the 2022 Electoral Act was passed, President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, said that the amendment became important in view of the deficiency created by the provision of Section 84, Subsection 8 of the Extant Act before the party primary start in the next eight days. The Electoral Act of 2022 or the amended uh, Electoral Act of 2022 that we passed this year has a deficiency that was never intended and that deficiency will deny all statutory delegates in all political parties from participation in congresses and conventions and therefore such a major such an unintended clause has to be amended before the party primary start in the next eight days. So this is an emergency effort to ensure that nobody is denied his or rightful opportunity as a delegate, and especially the statutory delegates 